Hey guys, today's sponsor is Compass Mining. Compass Mining is a Bitcoin mining and hosting service for new and experienced miners. With decentralization at the core of their values, they seek to provide the best service and support for your mining needs. With hosting included and full control where you mine to, you mine at your own pace with exceptional support backing you all the way. If ease of use and establishing passive income on mining Bitcoin sounds good for you, then hit the description below and head over to Compass Mining's website. Hey guys, welcome back to Carter Bits Be Trippin'. Been a few days from one of these type of videos. We did a live stream yesterday. Hopefully you guys were able to check that out. Had a lot to do with the crypto bill within the infrastructure. But what I wanted to get to that I did not get to in that video was a quick overview on Ethereum's EIP 1559 and how I go about calculating how big of an impact has it been to the bottom line. And there's a few figures in there. There is the ETH reward, which was not touched. There is the base fee burn, which is making up the burn itself. The minor tip, which you might also hear is the priority tip. And then you have orphans, which are, you know, they come every once in a while. It's based when you have a race condition when two miners have solved the same block. And then one gets resolved as the block winner. And then there's a small orphan paid, usually zero point. 75 ETH on that or lower, depending if it's included in the, the next few blocks as a, a reinforcement of security, as it were on Ethereum or Ethereum pays for those orphan blocks. But when I break down that, I look at etherscan.io and you guys see, if you guys follow me on Twitter, I usually have post uh, an Excel sheet that has some figures on there. There's an average block time. I do that usually over the last 100 blocks, because that's what Etherscan allows you to do on a single page. Uh, 100 blocks in Ethereum based on its block time is 25 minutes. So it's a 25 minute snapshot in time of what's going on with the ETH's network. And sometimes you'll see deals where you have a spike in fees and people all start to tweet at me and then I'll take a look at those over the last 25 minutes and then I'll be able to see, you know, that spike in fees and, you know, what's happened there. So I, I'll usually run what's the average time over those 25 blocks. And then now with this burn mechanism, I like to see how much is actually affecting the bottom line. How much would we have gotten without the burn pre-1559? And then now what is the post-1559? Which the last piece that we take into effect is not just the block reward and yield is also the price. The price has also went up quite a bit. You know, Ethereum was around 2100, you know, a couple of weeks back. And now we're looking at around 3100 to $3,200 ETH price. So ETH going up 20%. So let me take you guys through start to finish on what I do and how I do this. But we'll go to Etherscan right here. We're going to refresh that to get the latest block. So if you go to etherscan.io, and then you click right here on view blocks. And then you come down at the bottom here and you do a hundred records. And then that gives us the last hundred records here. Okay. And then we can take a snapshot of this by highlighting up here and just drag your mouse down all the way to the bottom of this and just highlight all the way to there. And then we're going to do a control copy or a command C if you're in Mac, using a Mac. And we're gonna go over to Excel and we're gonna paste this. Now, if we just do a control V or a command V if in, on a Mac into Office, you can keep all that highlight and just double click in between these columns here to kind of spread out. Um, or you come over here, you hit that to highlight all of the workbook, that little thing over there in the left. And then double click this, it'll spread kind of everything out for where we can see it. And we can see that column J is the burn fees and column I is the reward. The things that we care about is first this reward. So if we highlight that whole entire column and then you control F it. So you hit control F on top of that, it'll bring up the find and replace, go over to replace. And let's get rid of that word ether. So if we type in ether and then we do a replace all, it will get rid of that, that word there. We made the hundred replacements, which is what we wanted to do. And that just gives us the number. That's what we care about there. And then we're going to do two other things here. We're going to clean up the burn fee to where we can actually use this. So we need to come over here to this column here and we need to do, I call these kind of logic, logic one and logic 
to now I'll usually create a kind of more complex formula here, but I'm going to step this formula through for you guys to understand what I'm doing here. So I'm going to do an equals and we're going to do, let's, let's count how many things are here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're, we want just the amount, not the percentage there. So we're going to do an equals. We're going to point it over using the arrow keys over here to J and we're going to go equals left. Sorry. And then we're going to use the arrow key to go over there. So on the left, starting on that J2 for eight characters, that's all I want. So that gives me all the numbers there. I'm going to hit control copy here. And actually we can just double click this little guy down here at the bottom and it will fill out the rest of these here all the way down. And then we're going to highlight this whole thing. We're going to copy and we're going to paste right on top of it. Again, it's paste special and we're going to choose values because we want just the values there. We don't want the, the logic in there anymore. And then we're going to go through and we're going to do the same thing here on the right side. And what we're looking for here is we're looking for the bracket, the percentage, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight to the, to the right side. So we're going to go equals right open bracket go back over to here and then we're going to go comma eight and then close bracket and then enter and now we're getting the whole percentages and all that there right and we're going to double click this corner again which will then fill out all the percentages down that side now we're going to highlight this l and right click and we're going to right click and copy we're going to paste values again and now we're going to do the same kind of uh find and replace so we're going to highlight that whole column again column l and do a control f and then now on this we're going to click the replace tab and at the find what we're going to say the open bracket there and we're going to say replace all it's going to get rid of that and then we're going to come over here and we're going to close we can remove the other bracket, replace all, and now we have that completed. So then what I like to do here is just highlight that and then I consider this a percentage, which I hit that percent, and then it goes and does that and just kind of collapses the, the sub percentages there. If you wanted to have that date that further detail, you could hit that a couple times and it'll give you back to your your two decibel places there. But the reason why we want those two uh, pieces of logic there is what I want to do now is find what the full block value was. So I'm going to do F B V. So that's full block value, full block value. And we'll just expand this open and then I'm going to do a equals a, the reward plus this logic one, because that's the actual amount there. That's going to give me the full block value of that 30 million gas block. And now I can double click that. And now that gives me what the blocks potentially were. Now, the two things I care about now are what was the average over the last. So average last 100 blocks. Make this a little bigger and we're going to do average. So equals AVG open bracket. We're going to grab all of the reward. We're going to hold the shift down on that here. Let's actually you highlight the first one and you can just drag down here and you hold shift and click on the last one. So I'm holding shift and I click on the last one. So I want the average of all of those. So it goes and fixes it. Sometimes it likes to spell the word average. So we just did the word average there. So the average block, uh, when I'm doing this right now, uh, starting with block, or the end block, 113. So it's 129941131. And then all the way down for the last 100 blocks from there, we've averaged a block reward going to the miner of 2.23. Now let's look at average 
FBV. So that's the full block, including the what's being burned. And let's look at the average of that equals average open bracket on the M. We're going to hold shift or we're, we're actually going to, we're going to highlight that. We're going to drag this down, hold shift, enter. And then now we can see that the average was 2.88. So we can see the delta there. If we go through and we see what was, what are we losing? Like oh, from the burn. So what we're losing is this divided by this. And then what, if you take one minus this, that right there is the percentage that we're actually, based on the burn, it was a 22% current impact. So like we're, we're getting, but if there wasn't a burn, this is what we would be getting, we would be averaging 2.88 versus 2.23 over those last 100 blocks. So that gives me a quick indication of what's being burned. Uh, you know, what, what did we miss out on from a profit standpoint? Now, did price increase over this? So price started this last week at 21.85 and has went up to now. Let's take a look at the price. I'm, I'm looking at the lowest over the last few weeks, price-wise. We're at 31.63. So we're at a price of 31.63. 31.63. Again, this divided by this, and then this, well, let's do one minus this, and price is up 31%. So, if people are questioning, have we had an increase? of the US dollar generation value, I would say in the last two weeks of what you would have been earning if the averages were around 2.8, which they're actually were around 2.6 around that time, because um, there's a lot more activity right now going on in Ethereum. So the average block rewards a little higher and there's twice the amount of space being used in a block. We're actually earning a little more USD value than what we were earning a couple weeks ago, even though we've taken a 22% hit. And this is just a snapshot of 25 blocks. We could do this in a much larger block review, but I want it to have some basic explanation to you guys on how I calculate when I look at, you know, how big of an impact from a miner standpoint, if you're mining Ethereum, from a profitability, if you got to pay your bills, you pay your back your expenses on your hardware that you've either leased or purchased, how big of an impact has it been on just looking at Ethereum. Now, later this week, I am doing a release update on the miner model to look at a, a projected versus actual on the EIP 1559 calculations and the forecast that I had to see where we're at from a difficulty and where things are going. So you're going to definitely want to see that. I'm thinking about doing that as a live stream. So hopefully you guys will like that. Um, and we'll walk through the mining model. And then we're going to look at what are the, what is the current amount that the crypto needs to be at. Um, crypto prices need to be at for a couple different coins out there to when Ethereum moves over from proof of stake over. So we're going to update those models. We're going to make sure the history has all the way up to current and add a few more APIs to automatically update that sheet. You guys are definitely going to want to watch that. So hopefully this has been a good one. It's a little longer, but I wanted to walk you guys through methodically on how to do this yourself and get a snapshot on, you know, this is observer report. You can go out there and see a dashboard from somebody, but it's important to understand on how the numbers work. And that's what this kind of, uh, piece that I'm trying to show you guys. You guys can go out there and look at the blocks. You can look at the rewards. You can do the math yourself and make sure that what somebody's presenting you is actually the real reality. 
So it's important in the space to be able to be to be able to trust but verify. So hopefully this is a good one for you guys. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this content. This helps us a lot to get. We're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers on this channel. I'm one of the oldest channels out here on this crypto space, and I'm not at 100,000 uh, subscribers. I'm very surprised myself too, but it's all been organic. We uh, all all of you guys that find us is organic through shares and likes and stuff. So. Please help us get to 100,000 subscribers. That's kind of a milestone for me uh, to get out there. And I will catch you guys on the next one.